actually carries any weight as we move on to Breeze, the final map in this hey, Gen G series. on defense, decider. Sentinels on attack. We got Genji double Sheriff and three ghosts. On the last with big plays coming out of players like Zekin on the side of Sentinels. Let's see. Recon the goes in. Oh, no recon shooters on this one. It's not like the other Smoke over towards middle to block vision. That then creates here. pressure that it's people are going up really towards door. But actually, it's going to be a 4-1 four, yeah, four, four, hit. Seen already. The victory that came out of this composition for Gen G was an 11-1 attack side. So, uh, we don't know what they've got on the defense. Three people in sight. Ooh, that was nice. The knife again, meant that he couldn't do uh, initiates couldn't actually do anything with the star here. Ooh, that's a nice shock as well, though. Is that double? Yeah, now they can't get a plant. I don't have too much space here. I'm a little bit worried for Zekin on site. Here comes a recon. Just came back online from Lackey. It was used at the start of the round. Now buys a little bit of space. Zekin down and Texture emerging from the smoke gets caught. They know there's a player in the corner and they'll look to isolate that fight up close. Munchkin does well to find another. The advantage stacked against Celsius. But the spike is... Six bullets. And he knows it's not being diffused. Oh man, 15 HP. One more bullet's all that's needed. And it should yeah, be nicely handled from uh, Genji in terms of this one. They can also Genji get Lacquery's ult pretty early on. Yeah. Exactly how you want to start off on that defensive side. Dude, uh, I mean, he was great for this one. Good shots and the shock darts here to break the original there, planter. But, that's the thing, though. It, you're kind of facing off against what was a, a bread Pistols, yeah. The pistols, um, they've, they've been a little bit one-sided. On they side. have been that slightly one-sided. It, it almost killed off Zekin as well and ended the round and... Seeing Lackier as Sep, one of the players Let's go. looking Red to get his redemption versus Sentinels from a long, long <laughs> Slightly time for ago. sure. Just a small smidgen on it. Okay, um, we get one person with light armor in terms of this one, and that means, I mean, we'll see. Sentinels sent new Got. turn to the lower bracket. They do it again. This could farm. Early days. We're definitely yeah, going to keep an eye on Lackier in terms of how many uh, how many they don't kills he gets for results. And they have it again. It, it's either all or nothing. They're, they're not like a sheriff team. They're not like, ah, let's put a little bit in. Yeah, we see, we saw that right last map. It was the full force and a lot of success found, but obviously don't put as much stock in being able to claim that space on this map. And you can understand why. Normally, though, it's on the back of cypher comms that are really hard to break through if you actually play diving on towards one site. Wall goes in, and it's the wall to get half. So it's literally just a wall to kind of enable a plant, and then you can play around it in terms of back of site because it gives you this little edge where they have to push through. They have down, yeah, not too bad. And they can heavy, uh, can heavy hold over towards this part of the wall as well. Can't so use a little bit of util on this. Most of which are grouped up on the back of the site. Good shots to start this off. And it doesn't look like there's too much being. We'll keep an eye on how clean this can be. Look at the HP bars. Meteors down a little bit low, emerging from the smoke. Yeah, Zels has ran into heavy traffic, but Lackey is down. Another opportunity for kills here on Zach. Oh, definitely an opportunity for that kill. He's low HP. Okay, he'll take that though. He'll take that double uh, double armor rebuy and two guns out of them. Not too bad. They got a plant as well, so their money's a little bit better. And I mean, they should all be buying heavy armor now they hear this gun. That was basically working off the retake. Now those where things get that little bit more interesting. Well, the, the plant Meteor buys a marshal into the bonus. Having shield, having full utility, which, as we know, there is an outlaw on the other side. So that oh, will actually that's a little bit difference. scary, to be honest. Yes, yes, absolutely. You know, the, the, <laughs> the here, confidence right? in doing that it's is really through the roof. My eye how Gen -G but I mean, together with a double body shot as well, it's an off. Right? Look at it like yeah. that. <laughs> Attack side split, uh, you know, we're going to have to have a conversation about that. Yeah, A should be pretty hard for so Genji to hold in terms of just, just knifing over towards angle. this guy. Ashton normally plays around his util. So much damage. As we see, Sentinels have got shields on everybody. The full 150. Those pistols. Knife does hit, and that is a double body spam, I'm pretty sure. And that is a kill. Holy. Everyone's got their bite of the pie. It's just sassy left alone. They annihilated them. I mean, this is not a round that I expected Genji to win, but to dominate. There's barely been any damage done, Tom. No, and, and they're already looking. There was a slight bit fine. of damage they hit onto Texture. That is it. Especially now that they're starting to clear out the positions behind. Yeah, and you can see them pinging the as to where he probably is. Somewhere towards their spawn. Already pings on the map. It might even just be a scenario where we're going to have to wait the full 50 seconds for Sassy to just try and hold onto the gun. But 
Again, I, I want to shout out the utility being thrown in from Lackier. Oh man, He's what a start. I don't think gets what a start. They normally average 40% of rounds on their defense, and it's like they're up to a 3 0 on their defense. They're normally getting crazy attack offs. Like, this is a very good, good start. This is going to be Sassy holding on to the gun. All five players looking to survive upgrades as well. Like we were talking about them yeah, the, the money's out of control. They all get upgrades in terms of the guns None that are saved. None of those weapons are in play anymore. It is just the rifles for Gen G. If you're talking about a great start to this map, it really doesn't get better than this. No, that's a, that is a boost to their economy, if ever I've seen one. Three upgrades left. across the yeah, board. Yeah, it's, it's, it's it upgrades of guns, weapons. and it's 3K and on top. Is, like, it is the worst so possible round for Sentinels. Orb, Could get a little bit there. worse it's if he loses this gun and doesn't kill anyone. Through the smoke, them low. Like that. Oh, no. After all that time, <laughs> after we sat there for 50 plus seconds, waiting for him to hold onto that guard, and Meteor just goes... No, right at the end, but that's just disgusting. Like, that's the thing. There, that's where you see actually. Yeah, recon was good. Molly was good. Out. Shots were and then also decent. Just the denial. Like, it's having that second controller. Like, Karen's just been able to slow the push by putting that smoke into position. And there you go. You got the Gen G watch party over in Seoul as no, well. Time up. After what was probably a, a bleak 2023. Uh, it is paying dividends as bad as it could possibly go. Now. Yeah, it doesn't actually Maybe get worse than that, really. Jump ship over, but we'll, we, we won't call them out. Need pressure? Yeah, they got a pressure elsewhere. I kind of feel like you did call them out there, Tom. I'll be honest with you. That's uh, I heard a bus coming. I saw you throw someone under it. But yeah, they thought they could just do a straight up A hit, and it did uh, not know, pay off. For Gen G, gotta be one of the most successful rebuilds. Well, so you got a shout out Karen here, and I think it was down to something that happened in the pistol rounds. He he normally holds on to his util a little bit longer than this, but because he got knifed in the pistol, I think he learned pretty early that he needs to pop his util a bit earlier than before. They popped both of the smokes like way earlier than we've seen them in the past, because uh, and then the smokes were up when the KO knife hit him, so it didn't really matter too much. So you got to give a shout out to him as well. He played it very well, learning from the pistol round. They have built this team out of players that ultimately didn't have mass success. So you're talking about texture coming from G, Karen coming from ranked, but Munchkin definitely didn't have a great. 2023 meteor as well expectations were high Lackier came back from tier two yeah this team punish a main um nice start though from second. what uh, it's gonna be an it was through someone kill. looking to try and break so, back do you reckon he went for the body shot and killed the other guy here. they're gonna flash through they've got to kill him oh he's awkward now okay texture. all good no damage, low hp no they're not gonna expect to be here though not expecting him to stick around oh, well, there's some guns he here you can get knives right. out as well Oh, hero play on this one saved them a little bit. Still not done. They nicely handled from them. Good damage though. Very good damage. Could have been a lot worse. Oh yeah, he saw him insta and managed to get a body shot and a headshot. For the sixth shot. Coming alive exactly when they need him most. Seven and one on the scoreboard. The comeback of Lapia. Jesus, that was loud. Uh, did he say he wanted him to pop knives there? Get it. I think he wanted to pop knives and then swing. So right click on that guy there kind of wins the round. Ridiculously long time in jail over a vision strikers. And then had a long redemption arc to even get this far. Yeah, and we're throwing the knife a bit Danger earlier now. Come under pressure, but he's not shy Doesn't hit. At all. He maybe Jesus. Zekers removed him and taken the operator. A reveal there would have been huge to spam through the wall after. But nothing to be found. Lovely shot. Good round from him. Another kill. And Tan's answer. Wait, up. really nice movement as well. Finally, it looks like Gen G have been left Aye, nice in the dust here on the defense. Right, right, right. And with Munchkin oh, falling, that's confirmed. Karen, 1v4, the first... Smoke, uh, back star, coming up well, eventually. That's, that's going to be quite a while before that's up and online. We're going to bait <laughs> out the it. op, but he won't hit the shot. Snake bite up and over. If he's anywhere nearby, it'll take him down. But playing ahead of it, John QT spots him. One round right. on the board. Very nice as well. And they throw away the op. They want nothing to do with that. Got a long way to go to break this econ. Got three ults as well. And just was happy to put that pressure straight onto texture. Picking up the operator as well, just taking this round into his own hands. That's the value that Sentinels have in this youngster. 
still just 19 years of age. Literally just. Whoa. I think it was during this tournament. I close to a lot of these odds. <laughs> Ayo all Sova all. And the op goes close, wanting to try and get a kill early. They dodge the knife, there goes the all into it again, just trying to make sure that they can uh, overwhelm the Astra that normally plays in this position. Two people are ready on site. I like the pathing diff, but into the Yoru all info comes in. Spams can happen on top. Yeah, this is really nice. Great ult from Meteor here. It's such a good reactive ult here, and they've just been hitting over towards A, and Genji is shutting down A. It feels like they got a... Uh, the, I mean, the game plan was basically... The game plan going in was they're going to use the KO to just make sure that the um, Astra gets wrecked. But Genji has been changing it up real fast. The Astra goes more towards the right, where he's not going to get hit by the knife, and Texture is now playing where the knife hits. Uh, and it was a very nice Yorl. They just get pure info so they could spam through the wall, and then the wall kind of works against them. Yeah, I think they need to accept that their original game plan of uh, potentially abusing Karen over towards A just isn't going to work, and they need to change it up because it's been just a simple reposition from him. But I get the idea. Karen has been playing like here and here non-stop in the games. Like it makes sense. It's just they're fast to adapt. He adapted Again. on the pistol, basically. Sentinels, we, or we after the pistol. It. Successful in Americas, and it's definitely not looking great here. Tech's just so aggressive in his control. They have to be using the drone just to force him back. Uh, the main <laughs> shock that's being sent onto him. But if you believe that he's giving this up... Yeah, he does a really good to hold on to information here. Genji and Genji are kind of like, well... <laughs> A's been on lock. They are scared of A. Most likely, we're over towards B. They put three people here. We have a recon coming in. Any recon shooters? Nah, Zekin's just out in the open. A lot of trades going in. Next duel is everything. Meteor staying alive for now, and he's up close to the pit, left. knowing that they have to emerge from it to pick the spike, but they already have. John QT's around the backside, and he's coming right back into the safety of the pit to try to get the plant down. A flash inside, but it's all a decoy to push them towards him as Meteor moves around the other side. This is beautiful play. They're not even um, looking as he goes back in. 10 seconds as well. Now, Good flash. Yeah, nicely done. Meteor is an absolute god. He played that so well. Got the important kill in terms of the person jumping up, and then his uh, util here was so good. Great pressure over towards the right. Wrap round on the left. Yeah, it was all down to that first kill, though, really. Oh, a bit sorry for Zekin here. Um, and again, another good read from Gen G. But then you put him back on the duelist. And you almost miss it. If, it. if it wasn't for Texture, he'd probably be playing it on any other team. This guy is so damn good. Oh, they've got so many rounds the on their defense. And Sentinels at the moment, they just don't have an answer. Yeah, they gotta, they gotta play slow. Like, how most teams are wrecking this. As, I mean, and sometimes Genji, like, overface. But instead of, like, the site hits are weaker because they have no Sentinels in terms of, like, the site holds, what, what people have been doing is just playing on the fact that you can get everywhere once time goes in. Yeah, and I'd really think that Genji have done such a good... What the? Genji have done such a good um, mix-up of playing different to how they normally play on defense. A spam from someone else, Lakio, who's now down on the floor. And he has his ult again. Oh man. And you know where the last guy is? Holy. His ults are insane. He has his ult back again. 7 1. Sentinels have to be feeling stuck in the mud. Dude, they gotta they got slow it down. They're playing against no Sentinel. Sense. They're playing against a Yoru who can fast rotate. They gotta they slow go it down a little bit. Takes on towards the A site, or they lose that. They can, they can wait out the Yoru double TP. The longer they, they wait, the, the more question marks the there are of just timings that could have happened. Almost has to be a response. <laughs> Mid control, you say I own you. It sounds like it. Mid control has not been something that we see too much for from Sen. I almost want to see the pressure put in because these A takes are just being slaughtered. And now we're even seeing the switch up of Gen G putting Texture on the other side of the map. I think his expectation is, well, surely they don't go for that again. 
There's going to be some Hall's contestion off rip. Blackie has given up the space. He was going to drone it. Instead, close the door. Shocked on Rose and the follow up. That is gorgeous. But Sassy. That was nice on to top. The Dude, look at his util. Karen uses their own util as a smoke. Locks up and surprises everyone. And the spike is on the floor again. Not just Karen anymore. Meteor's holding it. He still got his flashes, cosmic oh divide, insult to injury. Sentinels are Oh man, they get it so wrecked. More rotations are coming through. Munchkin. Why are they playing so fast the, against this comp? He's not trying to hold anything other than halls. They know that they can't go back because of texture on mid, and there's two players watching for that walkout. Sentinels need a miracle to get away with this. Yeah, they also lined that up so that he could peek in front of it. It's it's a, a dual access ult. Their way out the pop flash is perfect and it's instant both they got a double timeout executed. they got a double timeout <laughs> I, I think it's already done though <laughs> this is way too many man this is like a comp that normally gets like all of their rounds on it on attack I, I want to see a second pause coming out from sentinels here yeah i, I don't know yeah that was mad that but that actually did most of the damage there a split second later i thought lackey was going to be dead immediately and then we need to talk about what he just did in through a thing of beauty? All right, dude, it is. They're, they're playing very, very well. But, but Sentinels are making it a little bit easier for them. You see how just the Yoru is always there? Like, the Yoru and how Gen G play this, the Yoru TP is uh, over towards the site instantly. So they can always have three on their site. So the site hits are just really, really strong unless you wait for, like, a whole minute. Better be combining in a fusion dance of brains to get this one across the line. It's looking grim. And the best part about it for Gen G, you spoke about how they had all their ultis online. They've used them incrementally. We had Yoru pop his, Karen pops the, the Cosmic Divide. Still now, they have a Viper's Pit. Still, they have a Blade Storm. And they're about to have the Hunter's Fury back online. There's no, no way in which they're letting this slip without Sentinels running up against a brick wall again and again they've got to be why do you think they're not pressing holes against a no sentinel a <clears throat> i think they're looking at it in terms of no sentinel sight hits are easy but gen g's comp covers up the no sentinel by having fast rotates because of this so i think they just misplayed slightly and especially when you look at the composition they're running the expectation is that they'll be able to cause chaos you've got a double duelist and you've got double also, the, the overall game plan kind of just backfired by Gen G like mixing up in the pistol. This is why, why I used to do for like when you had a good game plan. I still think the, good, the game plan was pretty good of abusing the Astro over towards here with the KO. I like to do different pistols because then you can make sure your game plan works on like the big buy rounds. Whereas Gen G adapted on the big buy rounds and then everything was wrecked. not going to be checked. Even sticks around to fight. Maybe goes a little bit too far with that one. Not able to escape. Because of that, Do a good trade from Sentinels, and this is much better. Slower play. So now now here we have the thing where they could cross over towards these angles if they block vision. Like, they could be anywhere. I like this from Lakia, but this is what you kind of need to force Gen G to do. Like, go aggro with the players. Yeah, and the pressure of this wall now means that someone could be over towards here. So it, if they wait like 10 seconds, this guy over towards spawn needs to be careful of spawn. They have is an aggressive push from Lakia, so he'll be inside of main for this retake, not able to get past the trap wire. And on the side, and does the crossfire come in on time? Alone is Karen. Off the smoke left. to give himself a safe haven to play from, and they're trying to root him out. They suspect that he's in this position. Okay. Celsus has got him on the running spray. Whether they expect anybody to be I mean, they should them. expect someone to be over towards A. They were looking for it the whole time. It does seem like they're watching that position now. Enough time has gone through. Has to be an instant win on this battle. Otherwise, it's definitely going to become problematic in terms of the time. The thing is, though, in terms of finances, Genji can definitely afford to throw some players into the win. Munchkin looking to lead the charge. The time, though, is ticking. Texture. Has already found one, but surely oh, this round gonna, has to be going Yeah, someone's going to hero play a little bit. This point, but it's more so how many players do they come out okay, with? nicely done. <coughs> this is uh, a th this is how they play it from now on. Just a little bit slower, a bit of map control, create the question marks, split over towards the Saints. I say split, they went heavy over towards door, but there was still pressure everywhere because they have no Sentinels. To change up the pace of this game, look like it's a B play. Wrap back through middle, which is somewhere they've had trouble holding. Too late? Yeah, it might be. They would have to have an insane defense. Fence to, to do sure this. That, that control can't be taken. 
This time it was taken, yep. but it didn't matter because they managed to get those rotations back through and a good call from John Cutie as well. They have tried a few times with John lurking around mid, right? Trying to get up through elbow, but every single time... Like this from Gen G. Ready and waiting Going a little bit aggro and, and he might catch him off there. They've seen the constant aggression. Camera up and watching this, but it's a little nice closer peak. than you'd like to see. John QT going to survive the round and rally the troops towards the ace. And th this is what they need to do, right? They look over towards the Yoru. The Yoru is one TP out already. Maybe you've gone a bit too fast here, but we'll see. There's also Karen on the side, and they've managed to chop and change some of these fights. Akia has his ult if he gets a tag. Sentinel's crossing the site, grabbing the plant. Presumably for free. Tag is received. Under's Fury is popped. Push up by Sassy. And the headshot and the one by Texas. What a shot. Oh my. The shots, though. The shots are insane. Yeah, it, it's almost like he just completely ignored the plan. The plan was that Lakia would get a tag, kill someone with the yeah, and give me this replay because this second yep, shot must have been so nice. Immediately, he hits the most disgusting headshot Ooh, with an operator, bro. And, and then just peeks through the viper screen to kill the monster. Last. The guy has no fear whatsoever. Whoa, nice. And while for solo, we've already mentioned. He may not be in the server anymore, but there is a story of redemption. Elise versus Sentinels, and more so Tens. The MVP of that Reykjavik that new turn finished third. His move to coaching was something that anybody knew and was excited for. Now it's going to be a more direct approach, straight in towards this B-site for Sen, desperately looking for a third round. Shot by Texture. That's four in a row on that off. He's making a highlight reel of his own. And Look still at that recon. All three players spotted. The info there. Blade Storm in the back pocket. Sprays are in, forcing them into this angle. Oh. The shot didn't actually land. The Blade Storm. He's doing damage though. He's still alive. Eventually, Tens falls, unable to be rezzed back anymore. But Sassy and John QT keep it competitive. This can be one of the last people alive here. And they know exactly where Munchkin is. <laughs> He's gonna be the last guy alive. Three. Oh man, shot. But first step is win their first pistol, and it's five and zero in terms of the pistols. The step one, win the pistol. That's been a nightmare so far. That is by far the most they've ever got on defense. I'm pretty sure in terms of Gen G with this comp. Like it's going to be better on their attack, which really is a marvel to look at because they have been truly unbelievable, making a mark as the best team in Pacific, and they are very close to making that final. Well, a big factor on their attack is going to be Meteor, so let's hear what Meteor had to say ahead of this game. Yeah, Potential 6 and 0 pistol, yeah, it, that's devastating. Can't win a, can't win a best of three when that happens. At least got to win one of them. <laughs> Damn, dude doesn't even care, man. Guy doesn't even watch their games. <laughs> he doesn't even watch their games. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, 
Well, Meteor says they've got fans all over the world. I'll tell you what, plenty of them showed up here okay. to support them today. Okay, reminder, 5-0 and in terms of pistols, and Sentinels at least know where the... No way. <laughs> well, he was anti-flash when he was picking this orb up, at least. In the lead. Winning this pistol could spell the end for Sentinels. Well, that's the thing. He talked about... Hens does have a knife that could eventually that clear info. In okay, and knife they goes in. Rounds, and they have got are they going to use that against them, or are they going to just accept it? Has done in the history of the VC Gen G right now, in the 4v5, right they, they are just waiting for a reaction and... because they know it's a good team. They should probably be doing some kind of reaction around the map to get info. It came out. in a little bit later than they hoped. Be truly impressive. The fact is, they're building up into an a -take. What the is the timing on this? Could be caught. Karen waiting, watching, not going to be checked. Looks for the a great second, trade, but with that info over towards site, Sassy does have a recon to try kill someone. The the they have a retake wall. Towards that a site, Sassy, hoping maybe he could hit something with a miracle shot or a shock dart, but instead they're aggressive to try and take him down. Left on just 40 HP. He has Keep an eye on this uh, Viper jewel in tube. 68 and 40. Obviously, Meteor tagged up in the earlier fight. Munchkin now in danger. One of the few full HP players goes back, opens the door, and is going to try to bail. Snakebite chasing him down, but he's out. <laughs> Snakebite kind of works against right him now. His opponent's face. That buys a little bit of extra time as he turns around to the bridge, ready for the fight. Munchkin Meteor, wins his. Bro. That's a triple. Sensational pistol round with Gen G. So, with that, that is 6 and 0 oh in terms of pistols. Sentinels. All 6 pistols. You, bro, you can't win a best of 3 if you win 0 pistols, way, man. It's, it's not, not possible. For the number one America's team. It's too many. This is, he could have been dead within the first few seconds. And instead, nice. he ends up burying the pistol round. Yeah, they know it. They know it. <laughs> It is very the much theirs to lose right now Munchkin, for Guardian. Had so many bites at the cherry at internationals, never even come close. Three rounds from a final. This would be his seventh international event. Ninth 16 to 6. Was his best placing before this. To say that this Gen G side, this squad is special, even if Sentinels managed to run this back. History. Is already being made by the side of Sen. Enough pistol rounds. I say they normally buy nothing. I said at the beginning of this game, I would like a, a tournament where we like experimented with stuff, He's like give them give them all max money for the beginning to He's see what it's like. Crazy shots just to give them a little bit. Of it is weird in this round. game because it does double snowball, but I also really Even like pistol rounds. That's the thing. Rib, I'm kind of a little bit torn. I would like to do like an experimental Can't tournament. I'm not saying it it should happen. I, I just think it would be like a it would be nice to test. There's a reason I always like keep track of pistols because it is just everything. Damage done to Meteor. He's actually going to use his ulti already, thanks to a fantastic performance in early rounds. He's already diving in. The problem is oh, giving everyone max. <laughs> problem is giving everyone max money when there's guns like uh, the Odin in here is a nightmare. <laughs> and, and people that can dash away with like uh, ops and stuff. Nice damage. 11 3. On, in theory, the hardest side against this comp. Yeah. Showing up, we had a great first map out of tens as well. Both of them fighting for their third appearance at a Masters Grand Final. For now, it's looking like they're going to have a, another fight later on. That's the thing. There's players on the Sentinel side that have been there, done that. Masters winner. The champion's winner. Okay. And right now. And well, they've got to win the bonus the now. Knife goes in, hits one. No one shots a recon, though, so they kind of cleared everywhere close. This is a new world, a new realm in 2024. Look at the confidence. He has a marshal. <laughs> he has a marshal. It's a Yoru, though, so he can TP away. Not that he's put his TP down anywhere. Maybe the time of the comeback for some of these players. The thing is, though, Sentinels are not out of it just TP yet. TP now goes in. Find a pocket, get a little bit aggressive. They've got the better buy here, but already not the greatest of starts. Body Sassy shot came does in. trade, but he takes damage. And Zekin's aggressive position should be revealed. He's going to try and play ahead of it, see if anybody gives him a fight, but they don't. Oh, and there was cover as well, just in case the wide swings um, came through. That, was through the wall. that is a spam. That was oh Zekin boy, look at the another. confidence. Up top, aggressive, still with a dash to play with. Look at the confidence. 
into a corner. All their credits on the line. This defensive side has a decision to make. Carrying two weapons forward wouldn't be that useful, and it won't be possible. And now looking like Gen G's map pool is uh, is the one against Sentinels. We said they like different maps. 12, three on the board. John QT. All that's left of Sentinels. All that stands in the way of this accolade for texture. And what a time it would be to find it. But for now, John QT's making the right decision. He's legging it to the other side of the map, but he's not away. Not yet. Okay, Karen is actually going the other direction, so he might have just managed to slip through to the next round with this rifle by the skin of his teeth. It is going to be an escape. Hey, good luck, and uh, this is a high number. Window, but I, I don't think he's ever going to do that. He's also had his cam spot them out as well. Not going to risk the rifle, but it means that the purchase that's there for Sen, nine rounds in a row needed. We've seen comebacks. Look at this. Sent, oh, what was it? It was oh, the, side the swing of came in just before. Versus loud. This is absurd, but this just shows the confidence that this man is running with at this stage. The Sentinels. <laughs> it wouldn't be doom and gloom. Just Damn, a lot dude's of It's pumped for it. Awaits them. Okay, nine chances. Wow, Eighteen to eight. Dude, the scoreboard is we'll disgusting. The One-sided right now. It is mental. And it looks like they want to finish it off with just a straight up B hit, and we're playing B retake. And I mean, that's a nice, nice one through the wall. Only the one to be found. But with tens on five HP, those pieces can be picked up by someone else. Texture, Munchkin, and Karen. History on the line, but still plenty of opportunities. The pressure won't be felt just oh, yet. Oh, man. Snake bite Dude, 40 had double molly. Sentinels. They look to push some players on backside out of position. Here comes Not the a good sign. From Sassy. The swing from Karen is good to start. Another for texture. And there's only two on Sentinels left. Sassy does well, but they need to get on this spike. Force these players out into an open fight. And it's Sassy to look to punish. John QT gets it half, but they're both extremely low. The time is running out. Oh, boy. Gone. Well, <laughs> they, they smashed them. Yeah, and the split was surprising. But that, um, man, that kind of score on defense was crazy. Six nils with the pistol as well. 